how's it going? My name is Julia and welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to suggest some projects you could do if you're just starting to learn to code. Deciding on a project from the beginning will help you narrow down the languages and tools you need to learn and help you stay motivated with a goal in mind. When it comes to your project, you should be able to talk about three things the problems you solved, how you approach it, and your actual solution. I always recommend to attach a small case study or explanation to the project in your portfolio. With this project, each one should have a good readme file, documentation, no overuse of comments pointing out the obvious. All these play a, a factor into the project. Some examples of good projects are solving a problem you already have or you identify with. This is always going to be the best project because you know the details of why this problem exists. You can talk with confidence about this because you know the ins and outs of this. Another project could be an e-commerce website. You will have multiple products across multiple pages, a search feature, a cart where one can click and add to the cart, and on a separate page, it stores that item and a checkout process. Also, create it to where you can have an inventory tracker. If you're only backend focused, then you can create the inventory system for the store without the front end. Bonus points if you can create an alert that prompts the store to reorder certain products for out of stock or low inventory on small items but not for bigger items. Another idea would be a restaurant website that takes reservations. This will show your understanding of how to showcase the value of business and stores information, and you can lose local storage or Firebase to make it easy. Bonus point if you can make it send an email confirmation, but it's not necessary. Another idea would be a booking app where a user can reserve a time for a service. For example, a hair salon website that accepts appointments. Bonus points if you can have it also keep track of the financials, like the type of services performed and revenue generated and place it in a graph to visualize the information. Finally, another project idea a little bit harder would be a bug tracker. A bug Tracker essentially shows the different stages of a task, tracking it along the process. This is a big project, but the basic idea is to show it going from the backlog, not worked on yet, to in progress, code review, to done. If you end up picking an initial project that turns out to be super difficult, it's okay to just scale back. Here are some resources worth checking out. I'll link all of them in the description below. Code Mentor is great to find projects on several different languages and discuss, review the solutions and contribute with other developers. Frontend Mentor is a collection of web design challenges with starter files in several levels. And once you're done, you can post the solution to get feedback on it. JavaScript Beginner has over a hundred small JavaScript projects to start out. JavaScript 30 by Westboss has 30 vanilla JavaScript challenges for you to do throughout 30 days. And he gives you the code in a video just to make sure you understood. UI Design Daily provides designs from Figma that can be used as inspiration to start your project. Frontend Practice guides you to recreate real websites from real companies. And there are three levels of difficulty. This GitHub repo from Flooring Pop has beginner, intermediate and advanced project ideas, which are great. And finally, this article from Andrew has 50 project ideas and explanation about each one of them and which languages you could use. That's it, folks. Remember that you can build a project on about anything. Just try to build something you want to talk about. There is no golden project that guarantees a job, 
but you stand out more when you talk about something you are interested in. Feel free to leave your questions and comments here and subscribe for more videos like this. Also, don't forget to give a like and help with the algorithm. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs>